Hello everyone, this is my flight review of Delta Airlines A350-900 from Detroit to Tokyo Narita in business class. Since this is a flight review instead of a flight report, I will be sharing my impressions and opinions. I will be rating the aircraft, crew and service, seat, meals and the in-flight entertainment system on a scale of 1 to 5 stars. At the end of this video, you will be able to see my score sheet and breakdown of each category. Please click on the link above if you'd like to learn more about my rating methodology. I was very excited about this flight because it was my first time flying Delta's new Delta One suites. I love the A350. It provides a quieter and more comfortable ride due to higher cabin air pressure and humidity. Business class cabin is beautifully designed. Suite 5A was my home for the next 12 hours. The suites alternate with the seats being next to the aisle or next to the window. The ones next to the aisle are a little less private, but they have this extra storage cubby. I give the aircraft and cabin 4.8 out of 5 stars. It would get a perfect score if the restrooms were larger. You will be able to see my score sheet breakdown at the end of this video. Now enjoy the sights and sounds of the takeoff. Now let's take a look at the menu. Delta offers the option of pre-selecting your main course up to 24 hours before the flight. By doing that, you don't run the risk of them running out of your choice. Lunch service begins with warm nuts and a beverage. You can choose the Japanese or Western menu. I chose the Western menu.
there were several options from the dessert cart, including ice cream sundae, mousse cake and cheese. I chose the ice cream sundae. I give the flight attendant and service 3.6 stars. The flight attendants were kind, but not very available and proactive during the flight. Let's take a closer look at the seat. The leg room is ample and the footwell is adequate. The secondary seat controls provide preset functions and are easy to reach when in the lie flat position. The main seat controls are intuitive and allow for fine tuning of the seat positions. power outlet or USB port to charge your devices. There is a small cubby where you can store small items and water bottles. Delta provides LSTN noise cancelling headphones. There is a good amount of flat surfaces to place drinks and other items. Remote control is used to navigate the in-flight entertainment system and play games. And my favorite seat feature is... A privacy door. is beautifully designed and I love the privacy. I rate the seat 4.6 out of 5 stars. kit is provided by Tumi. turns into a completely flat bed. There is a small and a full-size pillow and a very soft comforter. The bed was very comfortable and I was able to get a few hours of sleep. Here is a 
another look of the impressive business class cabin. Flight's entertainment screen is large and offers high definition resolution. You can use the touch screen or the remote control to navigate. System navigation is easy and intuitive. There was a good selection of newly released movies but I was more impressed with the very large library of older movies and TV shows. Some fun games and a music library are also available. screen is large, bright, and the entertainment library offers hours of contents. I give the in-flight entertainment the maximum score of 5 stars. out of 5 stars. There were plenty of options between the Japanese and Western menus, and I was happy with the presentation, portion sizes and flavor. Please pause your video if you'd like to see the scores breakdown for each category. Now let's recap my final scores. Aircraft and cabin 4.8, meals 4.2, seat 4.6, Flight Attendant and Service 3.6, In-Flight Entertainment 5, giving us a final score of 4.4. I really enjoyed this flight. Delta offers an amazing hard product on their flagship A350 aircraft. Now enjoy the sights and sounds of the landing. watching please like leave a comment and subscribe see you next time it is our pleasure to welcome you to the region japan for the local time